And now I'm going to attempt to do my first presentation on an iPad. This is the KV1543R. It's only Trinitron. Perfectly functioning television set. I've got some color bars on it that actually do not have color to them, but that's okay because this old Sencor color bar generator is old enough to have a few problems. This is tube powered. So it'll also do uh, horizontal bars, vertical bars, crosshatch, or dots. along with this TV with the remote which has corroded battery terminals the owner registration card never filled out Sony limited warranty guarantee all the little channel numbers that you can put in your uh, thing and look it even has a beta channel and uh, these are uh, stickers for the remote so that you can actually have shortcuts on the buttons there. It's not a typical number pad, that's a shortcut button to that particular channel. And I have the original receipt. I've covered the price because I want you to guess. I'll uncover that in a minute, but guess how much this cost back in uh, 1980. Evidently by that price, I mean by that date, someone was probably getting this for Christmas. So, uh, also, all good TVs back then came with a schematic. I hope this is coming through as clear on YouTube as it is on the iPad here. I really like the quality of this video. I wish I could hold it still enough. Maybe YouTube will make this nice and steady. You gotta love schematics that show you waveforms that you can look on your oscilloscope and know exactly what they're supposed to look like. Sony was always good at doing that. Oh, and in case Jordan's uh, watching, he'll be happy to know that this is sitting over here ready to be wrapped up in bubble wrap. Alright, so have you guessed the price yet? Remember, 1980s, Trinitron. $415.97. And that is it for my iPad presentation for the night. I don't know if I showed this good enough. I'm going to show the back of it again. Nice metal Syncor handle. Haven't been into this at all. Haven't done anything to it. Just plugged it in. Next up we have that, and this.